Hello, everyone. My name is Xiao Songhee, and I am a postdoctoral fellow working at the University of Pennsylvania. In collaboration with the Comprehensive Epilepsy Center at Thomas Jefferson University, we investigated the disruptions of the basal ganglia to salamocortical loops in epilepsy patients with focal to bilateral tonic clonic seizures, or FBTCS in short. A larger proportion of patients with focal epilepsies can occasionally experience FBTCS. Patients with recurrent FBTCS tend to have poor prognosis than those without. Unfortunately, it is still unclear why some patients suffer from uncontrolled FBTCS and others do not. Based on the literature, we hypothesized that the salamus may act as a seizure synchronizer, thereby promoting secondary seizure generalization, while the basal ganglia may play an inhibitory role by regulating the salamus. Accordingly, we evaluated the interactions between the basal ganglia and the salamus using resting state fMRI, testing against the prevalence of FBTCS. We enrolled 96 patients with temporal lobe epilepsy and assigned them into three groups based on their FBTCS histories. We also enrolled demographically matched healthy controls to provide an imaging baseline. We leveraged both functional and structural information to obtain a fine-grained parcellation of the basal ganglia and the salamus. First, to test the synchronizing capacity of the salamus, we calculated the participate coefficient for each salamic parcel, which qualifies the distribution of their salamocortical functional connectivity spanning across seven established cortical functional networks. We found that both remote and current FBTCS groups presented higher PC values comparing to the non-group, specifically for the ipsilateral media dorsal salamic nuclei. Compared to controls, these two groups presented elevated deviation scores, suggesting that their salamocortical connections are more uniformly distributed and hence may promote synchronization among brain networks. Second, to explore the interactions between basal ganglia and the salamus we run a Lovain community detection algorithm on their functional connectivity matrix and estimated the interregional integration as a measure of interaction preference based on the pairwise allegiance between regions. We found that the current group presented a higher integration between the striatum and globus pallidus and a lower integration between the globus pallidus and salamus. Such differences were less detectable based on their connectivity strengths or when the network was randomly rewired. Compared to controls, only the current group presented atypical values here. When we further subdivided the globus pallidus, we confirmed that these differences were mainly attributed to its internal segment, the GPI, where the current group presented atypical interactions with the putamen and the lateral posterior salamus. Lastly, we employed a simulated disconnection method to probe the source of these atypicalities. We found that the group differences in integration could only be cancelled out when the connections between the putamen and the GPI were set to zero, which indicates that the functional connections along the direct pathway are the major determinant of this result. Using a similar method, we also found that the results involving the posterior salamus depended upon the connections between GPI and the lateral ventral salamus, which surprisingly mirrors the physiological connections between them. In summary, compared to patients with no lifetime experience of FBTCS, patients with a history of remote FBTCS exhibited promoted salamocortical synchronizing capacity, but a normal basal ganglia to salamus interaction. However, patients with current FBTCS presented both promoted synchronizing capacity of the salamus as well as disrupted interactions between the basal ganglia and the salamus, which may in turn unleash the salamus. We hope that this potential mechanistic model may guide the development of new treatment strategies. Thank you for watching. For more details, please make sure to read our paper.